Hello, hello, hello. Today is Wednesday, February 23. It is 1 p.m. for me. Solutions to problem 136. The peculiar white foam-like lines on the Atlantic Ocean. The first person who had it all correct and who educated me because I did not know this was Simone San Martino. And I read here verbatim what he wrote and I hope you can also read it with me. I will read it slowly. Yes, I am a physical oceanographer. It is definitely a nice example of long moving circulation. Wind generates tubular cells of convergent and divergent current. Foam, organic accumulation, plankton, and all floating matter accumulate in converging zone forming visible lines and then he gives the website and I will open the website also for you very shortly. The second person was John Harris. I think they might be due to Langmuir circulation and then correct was someone who has the name the pawns of deception. It is caused by an effect called Langmuir circulation. And then my very close friend Vicky Suller wrote me personal email because she has my personal email address. And she was very specific. And she has no background in physics, but she does have a background in science. And she says, Walter, this is an example of Langmuir's circulation. Then the fifth person who had it right was Rochatwell. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Those streaks or scum lines are due to a rather complex water movement phenomenon called Langmuir's circulation. All right, these are the only five that had it correct. If there is one more which slipped through the cracks, which I didn't notice, I apologize. I will now open for you the website that Simone mentioned, and then you can read some of the words and you can see the incredibly complicated equations of the Langmuir circulation. So I opened the website of Langmuir, Langmuir circulations and it starts with these pictures and here you see these white lines that I also showed you in the problem. We'll read now the text. These lines of sargassum can stretch for miles along the surface. The clumps of floating algae are often concentrated by the strong winds and wave action associated with the Gulf Stream. In physical oceanography, oceanography, long circulation consists of a series of shallow, slow, counter-rotating vortices at the ocean's surface aligned with the wind. These circulations are developed when wind blows steadily over the sea surface. Irving Langmuir discovered this phenomenon after observing a wind rose of seaweed in the Sargasso Sea in 1927. Langmuir's circulations circulate within the mixed layer 
However, it is not yet so clear how strongly they can cause mixing in the base of the mixed layer. That's it. I will try now to show you one equation in this article that will make you and me fall off our chairs. So this is the first page of Langmuir circulation in Wikipedia. And this is the only equation that I will show you because the rest of the article is even, even more complicated. Because no one would expect you to be able to derive this equation. That's a separate issue, of course. I just show you how complicated the physics is by looking at this equation. It would be perfectly okay if you had uh, searched online what causes these white lines and you would then may have come up with the word Langmuir circulation, which would have been an A triple plus. Uh, my close friend, Harvard professor, had no idea what causes these white lines and of course uh, did not make any attempt <laughs> to search online and to find the origin. So now we know what these white lines are caused by and forget these equations, they are new to me, they are new to you. What is new, not new to you and new to me is that we are friends. We are friends now, we will be friends tomorrow and we will be friends forever, whatever forever means.